Getty Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman met with Mr. Mattis after the hearing speaking to journalists on Friday. The Pentagon chief said he did not know how it would start but an escalation between the two rivals is likely because of Iran's links with Hezbollah, who are operating in the area. He said, I can see how it might start but I am not sure when or where. Conflict between the two countries in Syria is very likely, because Iran continues to do its proxy work there through Hezbollah. Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman met with Mr. Mattis after the hearing. Mr. Lieberman also met with U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton, who he called, loyal friend to the state of Israel. Tensions between Israel and Iran have escalated since airstrikes against Iranian bases in Syria on April 9 and April 17. Syrian state TV blamed the strikes on Israeli forces, but Israel has neither confirmed nor denied the attacks. Evigdor Lieberman has vowed to protect his country against Iran's aggression, and refused to rule out reaching Syrian airspace to launch future attacks. Getty Mattis said he thinks the conflict is very likely M. R. Lieberman claimed Israel has total freedom of action in Syrian airspace if necessary. He told Walla News, we will maintain total freedom of action, we will not accept any limitation when it comes to the defense of our security interests, all options are on the table, tensions were escalated further after the U.S., France and U.K. carried out. Missile strikes against Iranian ally Syria on April 13. Getty Macron said he think Trump will pull out of the deal. Mike Pompeo also said it was unlikely Trump would keep the U.S. in the Iran deal during the news conference at NATO headquarters. This seemed to support Macron's claims that Trump is considering pulling out of the deal. Mr. Macron said, My view, I don't know what your president will decide, is that he will get rid of this deal. On his own, for domestic reasons, if you heard him in the Oval Office, you will have come to the same conclusions, he said before pointing out that ripping up the Iran deal was one of Trump's campaign promises.